Okay, my arms are tired, but we slayed that. We did. We did. Pretty incredible. I mean, I don't know that we're ever gonna need a theme song. Oh, we absolutely will. All right, well, if we do, then we're gonna need another take. Because that stupid moving truck messed this one up. Moving truck? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Go oh. Topaz! Code Topaz! Circle the welcome wagons! Shine the turnips! Chocolate chip the cookies! There's a new family moving in! How exciting! Can't wait to meet them! New neighbors? Uh, no. I know how this goes, McGee's. You're gonna make friends with them, you're gonna hang out all the time, and then you're gonna wanna tell them about the greatest thing in your life. Me. Well, I'm putting my foot down. My social circle is closed! <laughs> What's the big idea? I mean, the chairman's gone. We should be past this whole dragging me here against my will thing. Yes, about that. Since you are the ghost who technically vanquished the chairman, you are now the leader of the ghost world. Oh, my liege. Welcome, Welcome our new neighbors, neighbors to our neighborhood. neighborhood. We, we brought, brought you lots of goodies, just like a neighbor should. Hey! Pete McGee, city planner and unofficial welcome wagoneer. This is my wife, Sharon, and our kids, Molly and Daryl. Great to meet you. Oh, we're the Jens. Reuben, Esther, Oliver, and Juniper. I prefer June. <laughs> right, June. As a token of our friendship, we McGee's present the traditional Brighton turnip. Mm -mm. They smell like foiled toenails. June, honey, remember what to say when we receive a gift? Oh, right. Thank you for the gift. How kind of you to think of us. I'm autistic, and I guess not everyone can handle my unbridled truth. Honesty is the best policy. Hey, June, looks like Daryl's about your age. You'll have a built-in friend at school. <laughs> Legally, I'm required to disclose that Daryl is a bit of a handful. I don't mean to brag, but I do hold the record for being called to the principal's office. I never go to the principal's office. But a lot of my gadgets do get confiscated. Tell me more about these gadgets. This drone is so cool. So first of all, it has four rotors, and I built it with a solar panel. City council meeting schedule? Band shell concert lineup? 101 ways to get involved in your community? Yes! Whoever wrote these pamphlets completely gets me. Oh, th that'd be me. You can tell because I use my favorite eco-friendly stickers. Fun fact, they are compostable and scented. Mmm, <laughs> strawberries. Uh, now let me lend you a helping hand. <laughs> Go! <sighs> Only if you let me lend you one right back. We've lost the ghost. I feel like I've let Brighton and you down. You know, what if, maybe, stick with me here, ghosts can be good. Like, what if a kindly ghost and her pet bear were helping maintain the town, for a random example I just made up? Or what if the ghosts of Mayor's past could keep an eye out for Brighton's future? That wouldn't be so bad, right? And what if we became ghosts? Would we be bad? Because I would be the friendliest ghost ever and half of flying wherever I went. Molly, I love your optimism, but ghosts aren't like us. They live to scare. They're mean, horrible creatures who prey on helpless kids. No one deserves to live in fear. No one! Uh-oh, litter. Better recycle this. Look at him go. Look at that passion. That can is full, but he keeps jamming trash in. How can it be? Someone so kind has hate in his heart for a dear friend of mine. He'll help a stranger loading her car. He'll give a wounded raccoon CPR. Don't you die on me! Why can't he see? Ghosts aren't the enemy. He volunteers at the Brighton Retirement Castle one night a week at least. How can you be so giving and warm to the living, but so cruel toward the deceased? Just like you, they're just like me. And yet he hunts them mercilessly. Why can't he see? Ghosts aren't the enemy. The enemy. Stop! We're trying to support you! Don't leave me alone with that thing! But art 
is your passion, Mom? Why do you not want to paint? You don't understand. I've been trying to paint all day and, well, just see for yourself. <gasps> Mom, what happened to the masterpiece you've been working on all day? You don't see it. Clearly, she's using negative space to represent the vast nothingness that is... Yeah. Sharon, I tried, but I can't sell it. Sorry. What is this? Oh, I've been too scared to start. Scared? I've always had excuses why my art didn't work out. School, babies, moving, work. But now that I'm finally free to pursue my passion, what if I'm just not good enough? Mom... I'm gonna give you the kind of advice that you usually give me. Your art doesn't have to be perfect. It's an expression of how you feel. And sometimes feelings are messy. Oh. I'll be proud of you no matter how messy it gets. Oh, since when did you start momming me, huh? I learned from the best. Yes, yes, we're all very moved. Now I've got a really good pose for you that I totally came up with myself. Hmm. What am I thinking about, I guess? Scratch, you sat in paint! Go! Oh, Go, oh, get it off! Ooh, Oops, it's so heavy! I tried to help! Oh. <gasps> oh no! Mom's canvas! <gasps> oh, my corn, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, Mom! Oh no, we've ruined your I can't eye help eye. it that I've got a booty that won't quit! Huh, now that it's got some paint on it, it's a lot less intimidating. Actually, it looks kind of... Good? Mom, you're doing it! Yes, I'm in the zone. <laughs> now stop distracting me. Out! See? I am a muse. Your butt was the muse. My butt is me. I am taking the win. Say goodbye to the old you. It's time to leave the cocoon But it's fly, it can't hold you Spread your wings and move You're putting childish things away Once and for all Okay, fine, one more hug! You're a bright young woman Beautiful and strong Standing tall Your fashion's fire Girl, you're glowing Totally legitimate winner of your contest. If there's anything you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, we ran out of yuja cha. It's a special citrus tea for our throats, but you probably don't have a Korean grocery around here. Oh, I can get anything. Kind of my whole vibe. Well, should we do what we came here to do, which is work? and definitely not partake in all of the romantic cliches of a middle school dance. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't want that. I'll make sure the twinkling lights are twinkling, the punch has enough punch, and the photo booth is picturesque. See, Scratch? It's purely platonic. I'll make sure it is. There's something pulling you to me Kinda feels like gravity And I think that I'm falling <laughs> Much sense getting looks from all my friends. So you can say when you call me. They call me you to tell them it still lives in my heart. Never try to get or try to keep us apart. Who do you want to get high? Oh, hey, it doesn't matter what they do. I can't bend it up with you. I can't bend it up with you. Yujata. Can't believe you found it. I'm a man of many connections. Anything else you want before your next set? <laughs>
A bowl of sundubu chige would really hit the spot. Do you have a sundubu hookup? <laughs> Do I? Do I? For a thousand years, you've seen yourself as violent. Oh, yeah. As a savage. Yep. As brutal as can be. You really get me. But soon you'll come to find you can simply change your mind. All you need's a little positivity. You'll be good. You'll be kind. You'll leave all your grave atrocities behind. Be genteel. Not like before. Ow! Soon you'll be frightful no more. <laughs> you'll plant trees. You'll bake loaves. I'll keep devouring the innocent in droves. No, no. You'll hug, you'll be tender and warm. Soon you'll be frightful. No. <laughs> so nice and polite, I hope. A uh, scratch? This guy wouldn't hurt me, right? 50-50. I shall vanquish my aggression, decimate my rage, slay my inner demons, turn a brand new page. My corn, I think he's got it. <sighs> That's what friends are for. Thanks to you, I'm frightful <laughs> no more. What have I done? Totally not frightful anymore. And I guarantee I will even the score. I didn't think Lord Doom could change. But you did it. I shall doubt your unhappification abilities no more. <laughs> yep, that's that's me. I definitely believed in him the whole time. But uh, if you still think he's dangerous, we can ask him to leave. What? Come on, no way! I thought crudite would be disgusting because the celery. But Lord Doom, this guy's a whiz with hummus. He made like five different flavors. Yeah, but what happened to uh, a, a tater can't change its tot? Care for some fresh lemonade? Oh, of course. It tastes like a summer's breeze. Oh, hey, thanks, LD. And to think, just a short while ago, you were a cold-blooded, merciless butcher of souls. <laughs> 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 I squeeze the juice from the lemon's husk with my own hands. It's to die for. And make sure to take this glass right here that I made specifically for you. Hey, um, uh, look, a cute bunny! Oh, whoops, it hopped away. Cutely and funnily anyways. Ooh, yum. <laughs> mm, witnessing your enjoyment pleases me. I'm working on another surprise just for you. Whoa, the TVs are so square. This is how people watch movies in the olden times. You'd hold it like this, swipe here, and... Nope, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be the ghost friends. We're here to help. Come out and talk. I'm picking up a spectral signal. Oh. Oh. You think? Oh, don't mind Scratch. He's just the group's grumpy Gus. It's a coping mechanism to hide his soft, gooey center. It is not. It's too. Found him. The ghost's hiding in this weird toaster thing. Whoa. It's not a toaster, it's a VCR, duh. Can't believe you weren't scared by any of my favorite horror movie tropes. Maybe I should have resorted to cheap jump scares. Nothing? Well, let me educate you a little bit here, see, they're used to me. And I'm like, hands down, the best scarer ever, so nice effort there, it's cute. Oh, I wonder, could this ghost's unfinished business be horror movie related? I don't have unfinished business. I just like it here. I get to watch scary movies all the time. Plus, I have all the steel popcorn and movie candy I can eat. Ollie, you try talking to her. Um, are you sure I'm ready to deal with the full-blown Howlin' Harriet? You just need to build some confidence. Like a baby bird spreading its wings. Hi, my name's Ollie. Where? And where was I? Oh, yeah. It's a gory good time to say goodbye! <laughs> 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 
That's a quote from my favorite horror film, Blood Mansion. It totally got robbed at award season. People just didn't get its genius. Hey, Ollie. Buddy, you, you cover your ears? Oh, don't, don't worry. I'm not going to say anything important. Swoopy hair is messing up everything. I'm taking charge. I didn't want to pull rank, but as the chairman, I demand you stop haunting this store and share your popcorn. Oh, would, would thou, thou like, like to die, die deliciously? Well, that's a win in my book. Claire, tell us what's causing you to be stuck here so we can help. What are your emotional toes? Oh, I'm not stuck. I told you, I like being here. And why are you asking me about my toes? That's weirding me out. Proposal? We leave Blair alone, find another place for the community center. We can't do that, Scratch. Why not? What, this is the only building that can hold a foosball table? But if we leave Blair, she'll never confront the pain of her past. Then what's so wrong with that? Um, everything? Scratch is right. I am? All right, well, I'm turning a corner on this kid. <laughs> <laughs>